Okay, again we have Yuki Sulu. Let's take a look at Yuki Sulu's ability. She's a rare officer. I have 14 out of 36, so that isn't too bad. So, Disrupting Field is the captain ability. Minus 10% to the shield health of the opponent's ship each turn. This is very good for PvP. Can you imagine, like, especially during those long battles too, like, especially during, the, during those armadas, um, this, this ability might actually work. So, can you imagine if you have uh, Yuki Sulu on the bridge and, you know, her her officer bridge ability, Romulan Grudge. 25% of the crew's health bonus to damage against Romulans. This is an anti-Romulan officer. So again, Yuki Sulu is very interesting to have. You know, um, is she worth it or not? Well, that is a good freaking question. Uh, she seems to be worth it for those long battles. And again, we have Corel. So Corel is another rare officer. Let's take a look at Corel. So Retribution, so his captain ability, 30% of chance of dealing hull, dam hull breach when receiving ship um, HP damage. So again, all of these officers, which I'm super impressed with, they're offering kind of like a very, very PVP officers. Um, none of those uh, PVE officers, which is very nice to see. And they have Federation contacts. So plus 25%, of the crew's de defense bonus to damage against Federation ships. So again, this is a very good one. Um, Anti-Federation officer, um, if you need it. So, you know, which of these officers do we pick? That is a good question. And each of them have their own unique abilities. So, you know, the developers are leaving, with, leaving us with a very tough choice here. A very tough choice indeed. Alright, so where are, where are we at? Where are we at, guys? Any yeah, Armada's going on? Not that I can see. Completed the Mirror Mirror missions yesterday. Uh, for those who are interested, you can check out the YouTube uh, link below. And I'll take you to the YouTube and it's, it's pretty good. Uh, not too bad, really. We did some pretty decent Mirror Mirror missions. Uh, for free, of course, you can go the uh, pay route option. Alright, so now I have to identify which of these officers are really going to be useful to me. So, I'm not going to go for the ships just because you only get half the blueprints. So that isn't uh, too great. But these officers... Yuki Sulu is definitely a strong contender for me. I mean, she looks awesome. Severus is uncommon, but he does have some good abilities. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to go down the Yuki Sulu route just because um, she's a rare officer and she has some really pretty good abilities too. Like she has Disrupting Field, minus 10% to the shield health of the opponent's ship, uh, and of course Romulan Grudge. So this is going to be very good. In, she'll be very good against Romulans. And, you know, if we do have any tokens left over, we can totally get some more officers, which I'm super impressed by. Yeah, I mean, let's do it. Let's get Yuki Sulu 
and you know let's see what happens let's see if we can get her um, yeah so I'm just gonna go all in for this and you know hopefully we can upgrade her at some point that'd be very nice to see but yeah let's get Yuki Sulu because she's a, a good well-rounder and she'd be very good in Admatas which I'm super impressed about so let's get Yuki Sulu okay open in one chest here we go guys Oh, okay, got one, one little tiny shard. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Let's do it again. We get in Yuki Sulu. Using our well spent credits. Um, no. One chest, 2100. Ooh. Okay, got 16 out of 36. Not bad. Again, Yuki Sulu. 17. Oh, guys, I don't know if we're going to make it to uh, to to the full unlock end, but we'll see now. Plus one again. Oh, this is this is tense. This is tense. Okay, here we go. Plus one again. Oh, 19. Okay. Yeah, guys, I don't know if we're going to make it. 20. Oh... 21. Oh, guys, I don't think we're gonna make it. 21 again. Oh, 22. 23. Oh, so close to unlocking her. Oh. Oh, guys, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. 25. 26! Oh, come on! 26 out of 36. We need like 10,000. No, even double that. Ten, oh, come on. 27. And we can do one more. 28. Oh, guys. We were so close to unlocking Yuki Sulu. Um, but you know what? I can top up the points here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, tear up the Mayflower as much as I can to get those little bit of extra points um, because maximum we can get, you know, all these points here. So I think I'm going to, you know, try and either fight hostiles or upgrade the Mayflower. So I'm going to go for it. And yeah, I did recently get the Mayflower. Um, okay, so let, let's do this gonna switch this ship around my little Mayflower right here um, she's she's a, she's a small one for sure you know um, so we have to tear her up all right let's do this we have enough do we oh, no it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight Let's try upgrading the Mayflower to get those extra points for Yuki Sulu because this will be uh, totally worth it, I think. So we're going to tear up this Mayflower now. So we don't have three star ore, but we're just going to use Latinum at this stage. Just upgrade it. So let's go ahead and do this now. Let's upgrade the shield. All right. So let's upgrade the warp engines. Oh, this is costing a whole bunch of latinum. Upgrading the cargo bay. Okay. Upgrading those. Oh, this is a whole bunch of latinum. Upgrading the phase banks. And we're gonna upgrade another phase banks right now. Upgrade that. All right, so we're ready to tear her up. Pass. Okay, so she's tier one. We're gonna upgrade it to tier two. So, you know, we're gonna use speed ups. I think for, at this point. So we're gonna hit there. Speed up. Let's go for sixteen hours. Two of those. 
15, 5, boom, and we're done. Alright, so we should be getting some extra points now for tearing up the Mayflower. Let's take a look here. So we have a winner winner chicken dinner, guys. So let's check this out. Milestone achieved. We got 800 crossover tokens. Very nice, very nice. But the question is, you know, is this enough to get Yuki Sulu? Oh, we got another winner. Federation Milestone, okay, not too bad. Uh, so let's go to events, go to the event store. Let's get back to Yuki Sulu. So we don't even have enough for one. So we need to keep upgrading this Mayflower now. So what do we really ideally need? Oh, 1.1 million. Oh, good gosh. 25,000. So again, this is this is possible. It's possible to upgrade this to tier 3 to get those uh, crossover token points for sure. So let's go ahead and upgrade the phase banks. Upgrade another phase bank. Upgrade another phase bank. Cargo bay. Warp engines. And the shield costs almost 1 million, more than 1 million tritanium. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. The Mayflower isn't what it used to be. It is so much more now. So let's upgrade this. It can take one day. We'll speed through it though. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. We've teared up the Mayflower. Tier 3. Pretty strong actually. Like, um... You know, pretty strong ship. Okay, and what have we won? 2,400 crossover tokens. So this is definitely enough for one. Um, and got another winner winner chicken dinner. Some Federation credits. Always good to see Federation credits. Of course I am Federation. Let's just take, take a look at the event store. Yuki Sulu. We're so close to getting Yuki Sulu. So let's unlock one chest. Okay, so 2,900. Oh, okay. So we're so we're so close to upgrading the ship. Let's see how many more of these Mayflower things we can do. So we're about halfway there now to tearing up the Mayflower. And we get 50 points per tier up. So so obviously we could easily max this out. And the question I'm asking you guys is, you know, is this worth it to get Yuki Sulu? That is a good question. That is a good question. Okay. So what else do we need at this point? Oh. I don't know if we have enough Tritanium. Alright, so let's tear up this Mayflower and, you know, get the points and then hopefully we can unlock Yuki Sulu. Um, it's going to be very, very tight to unlock a Yuki Sulu. Um, so let's take a look here. Oh, 720. Oh boy. This is huge amount of Latinum which I'm using to upgrade this. Upgrade the warp engines. So again, you know, you're gonna have to spend a whole bunch of latinum upgrading these ships. Okay, phase banks, here we go. And another phase bank. Alright, so let's tear up this baby. Two days, almost three days. 
So that's not too bad, game-wise, for sure. And we've tiered up the Mayflower now to tier 4. We can now equip tier 5 components. And it's pretty powerful right now. It's about 287,000. Obviously, I haven't... Um, I don't have the right offices on the ship. But... And we have the winner winner chicken dinner. Let's take a look here. Oh, a bunch of Federation credits. I like that. I like that a lot. You can use that on Federation offices. And 16,000, almost 17,000 experience. So let's take a look here. Oh, wow. We didn't win any Terra points. We didn't win any crossover points on that one. So is that really worth it? I don't know. I don't know at this point. Um, okay. So let's go to tier 4. Hopefully we can do this. It's going to be tight again. Suspect we need more. Okay. So let's get this baby tiered up and then we can get more crossover points. And then hopefully we can get Yuki Sulu. So we are on tier 4 right now. We're going to upgrade the Mayflower to tier 5. And don't forget she's an awesome ship since the new update. So I highly recommend um, you know, getting the Mayflower whatever way you can. Okay, here we go. So let's upgrade the shield. Huge amount of resources I'm pouring into this. Let's upgrade the phaser bank. Let's upgrade the phaser bank again. And another phaser array. Ooh, a lot of latinum. Ooh, okay. And Another bunch of Latinum to upgrade that. Alright, let's tear this baby up. Four days. Oh, this is like half the time to upgrade operations to level 29. This is crazy. Crazy, bro. So let's go for two, 12 of those. Nine of those. Three of those, sorry. One of that. And let's use two 30 minutes. And a 15 minute. And we're done, boom. Okay, here we go. Mayflower is tier five. Pretty powerful, 347,000. Huge amount of um, resources poured into this now. So hopefully we won something. And we got a winner winner chicken dinner right here. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay, we've got those crossover points. 4,000, not too bad at all. Okay, so let's see if we have enough now. So let's go to the event store. Let's go to Yuki Sulu. So we need... We still don't have enough, do we? We still don't have enough. So let's click one chest here. 30 out of 36. Thirty-one out of thirty-six. We still don't have enough. Oh, guys! You know, to upgrade this to tier. How much is it to upgrade this to tier six? Alright guys, so let's upgrade, let's try and tear this up and see if we can get the crossover points. Really hoping now to get Yuki Sulu, but it's gonna take a lot of a lot of hard work. So okay, so let's upgrade the shield. Let's 
upgrade the warp engines. Upgrade the phase bank. Upgrade another phase bank. Oh, almost a thousand latinum here. Crazy. Let's tear this baby up. Six days. Six days. Oh. Alright, so we're tearing up this now to try and get the points here. It's going to be a tough one. Alright, so we've teared up the Mayflower now to tier 6. Pretty powerful. Um, Oh, we didn't get any. Oh, boy. So we didn't reach the top tier for those 8,800 points. Oh, man. So what does it take to upgrade this thing? Alright guys, so I think I'll come back to this tomorrow to see if we can do this, but the point is um, poured a huge amount of resources into this and didn't get Yukisulu. I mean, take a look at this. If I go here, go to the event store. Thirty-one out of thirty-six, and I already had shards. So the point is, it takes a huge amount of resources and a huge amount of time to unlock one of these rare officers, but will it be worth it in the end? Totally worth it. So guys, check back with me tomorrow uh, while I take a look at this and see if I can do this or not. But you know, again, is this possible? It's a tough one. It's a tough one for sure. Alright guys, that is it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my Twitch and of course my YouTube. All the links down below and yeah hope you've had a great day so far and yeah hope you have a good one guys all right see ya